So for today's loci mechanism, we can clearly see here on the diagram that we have a crank arm OA with A forming a circle, and then we have point C, which is a fixed point, so the point cannot move round, and then B is free to move, so AB is the link between those two arms with the loci point that we have to determine being in the middle of that arm. So that distance is 25, that distance is 30, and that distance, of course, is the radius of 25 for the circle. Now coming back to my own diagram, you can clearly see that our starting point is here on A1, and I've numbered it anti-clockwise going around to A12. Then here you can see I've drawn the link in red, with, I've already drawn the first loci point, which is 25 away from A, which you can use to your compass, or you can measure that with a ruler. And then you can see there's B1 and there's C. So the B points clearly oscillates around point C, which is going to be the center for all the point Bs. So B's loci will effectively be a curve, while, but the one we have to determine, obviously, is the point B. So next what you do is you go and you put your compass on A2 and of course AB has a distance of 50 so make sure that your compass is set to that same distance and you mark it on the curve and then you can connect the lines from B2 to A2 there you can see the construction line then you take your compass which is set to 25 you put it on A2 and you mark down the 25 millimeters for point B2. And then you can clearly mark that point as well. So there's our second loci point. Then to carry on, you simply take your compass again. You set it on A3, still with a distance of 50. You mark it on the curve. You connect the construction line. And then you take your compass and you mark down the 25. And if you follow those steps going round all the way to 12 with the same method, eventually you will have all the points.